नमस्कार मी रवींद्र बोंद्रे आदर्श विद्यालय चिखली आपले मी सहज स्वागत करतो तर आपण ऑनलाईन क्लासच्या माध्यमातून सध्या करोनाचं संक्रमण सुरू आहे तर ऑनलाईन क्लासच्या माध्यमातून विद्यार्थ्यांना घरी बसूनच शिक्षण आपण देत आहोत सध्या शाळा बंद असल्यामुळे अभ्यास करणं गरजेचं आहे आणि दहावीचं जे वर्ष आहे अत्यंत महत्त्वाचं आहे त्यामुळे आपण घरीच राहा स्वस्थ राहा आणि अभ्यास करा तर ऑनलाईन क्लासेसच्या माध्यमातून आम्ही सायन्स टू किंवा विज्ञान दोन या विषयातले काही चॅप्टर आम्ही तुम्हाला घेऊन येत आहोत घेऊन येत आहोत तर सुरुवात करूया वी हॅव स्टार्टेड सायन्स अँड अंडर सायन्स अँड टेक्नॉलॉजी वी हॅव स्टार्टेड लाईफ प्रोसेस इन लिव्हिंग ऑर्गनिझम पार्ट टू वी हॅव सीन बिफोर दिस अबाउट द सेल डिव्हिजन अँड देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ सेल वी हॅव सीन इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ सेल डिव्हिजन वी हॅव सीन सर्टन क्वेश्चन बेस ऑन सेल डिव्हिजन अंडर द हेडिंग यूज युअर ब्रेन पॉवर बट नाव टुडे वी हॅव टू स्टडी अबाउट मायटॉसिस वी हॅव सीन बिफोर दिस दॅट मायटॉसिस इज अ टाईप ऑफ सेल डिव्हिजन इन विच द क्रोमोझोम नंबर रिमेन्स द सेम इट इज ऑलवेज कॉन्स्टंट इट नेवर चेंजेस अँड दिस मायटॉसिस इज takes place in both type of reproduction there are two types of reproductions as we know one is called asexual one is called sexual so in asexual type of reproduction mitosis is the only type of cell division in which क्रोमोजोम नंबर इज मेंटेन बट इन सेक्शुअल टाइप ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन बोथ मायटोसिस एंड मिओसिस आर कॉम सो टुडे वाय टू सी अबाउट मायटोसिस सो मायटोसिस इज कॉमन इन अक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन एंड अलॉंग विथ मायटोसिस मिओसिस ऑल्सो टेक्स प्लेस इन सेक्शुअल टाइप ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन सो टुडे क्वेश्चन वाय टू सी अबाउट mitosis now mitosis takes place in we have seen it before this stem cells and somatic cells somatic cell means body cells stem cells and somatic cells and this mitosis is converted or divided into two steps the first step is karyokinesis so these are stages of mitosis karyokinesis and second one is cytokinesis karyo means nucleus and kinesis means division so division of nucleus is called karyokinesis and here cyto means cytoplasm and kinesis means again division so division of cytoplasm so these are the two main stages of mitosis karyokinesis cytokinesis karyo means nucleus kinesis means division nuclear division or division of nucleus and then after the division of nucleus completed then division of cytoplasm so we shall see one by one so first the first stage we have to study karyokinesis and this karyokinesis takes place under certain heads we shall see one by one the first step of karyokinesis is prophase prophase in prophase we shall see the diagram of prophase so in prophase what happens 
Suppose this is cell membrane. This is nucleus. Now what happens in prophase? The chromosome is present before that in the form of chromatin network. It is thin and long, thread like that is called chromatin network. Then this is nuclear membrane. Then there is a nucleus and here is what is called centriole. So this is the stage of prophase. We can say early prophase. So what happens? The chromosomes are present in the form of chromatin network. They are long and thin. There is a single nucleolus and around the nucleus. Now this is the nucleus. This is the diagram of nucleus. And this is the cell membrane. So this is all about cell and nucleus. This is the cell. This cell membrane and inside its nucleus. And this nucleus is surrounded by a nuclear membrane. So what happens now? During the prophase, now this nuclear membrane start to disappear. First stage. Then nucleolus and nucleolus and nuclear membrane start to disappear. So we shall see the second diagram. Again cell membrane. Now here, nuclear membrane start to disappear. Now this is nucleolus and here the chromosomes, they condense and become short and thick. Earlier chromosomes are long, thin called chromatin network or chromatin fibers. Now they become condensed. They become short, they become thick and now they appear like this. At the same time, this centriole which is present in only animal cells, this start to divide. Like this, we start to divide. So these are the, this process is called, this phase is called late prophase. Late prophase. So here nuclear membrane, nucleolus start to disappear, chromosomes become short, thick and they become condensed and at the same time centriole which is present at one end of nucleus start to divide into two. So this is called complete prophase. We are divided into early prophase and late prophase. It is called early prophase. So that is about the first step of karyokinesis that is called prophase. Second step we shall see metaphase. Now here the nuclear membrane in metaphase is completely disappeared. Nucleolus is completely disappeared. So these two things are completely disappeared. And here, this is the cell membrane. Now here, one, the central divides into two daughter centrioles. One reach at one pole, one reach at other pole. We can say north pole of the cell and south pole of the cell. 
then these chromosomes they lie at the equator or the center of the cell and these chromosomes are like this now these are chromosomes now each chromosome if we show each chromosome is like this and these are called chromatids now this is called centrosome chromatid and then centrosome now here these chromosomes lie in the center then this two daughter centrioles they reach at their respective poles one at north pole one at south pole and at the same time special type of protein fibers are formed and these fibers are called spindle fibers these are called as spindle fibers these fibers spindle fibers and what is the position of chromosomes chromosomes are in the center they are in the center so they are at the center and these are held with the help of spindle fiber and this spindle fibers they are released from both centriole and they are attached to the centromere sorry this one centromere not centrosome centromere 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 we have said earlier depending on the position of centromere there are four types of chromosomes metacentric submetacentric acrocentric telocentric now this is a uh, metacentric so these spindle fibers are attached for which originates from the centriole and they are attached with centromere and here again so all these chromosomes are held here this is called the second step called metaphase now in anaphase the third phase of karyokinesis now here the chromosomes are in the center we have seen and they are held with the spindle fibers now the third phase called anaphase where this chromosome we have seen this chromosome it is here centromere and these are the arms now here in the anaphase this centromere split into two this centromere here split into two and here what happens the chromosome now separate from each other these are called as daughter chromosomes these are called as daughter chromosome and here this splitting takes place in anaphase so what happens here as they split like this now here so this 
called splitting of chromosomes or at the centromere and daughter chromosomes are separate from each other so one set of chromosome goes in north pole one set of chromosome grows in south pole so this daughter chromosomes separate from each other and it is called anapis then one set of chromosome is at the top one set of chromosome is at the bottom of the uh, cell so two sets of chromosomes are formed and still they are held with the help of this chromatin fibers and the last stage is now telophase now here what happens this telophase is reverse to the prophase reversible to the prophase so in prophase we have seen nuclear membrane nucleolus this act now here nuclear membrane and nucleolus react so nucleus nuclear membrane react here nucleolus react here this appear in prophase in telophase react then here chromosomes are here in early prophase chromosomes are long and thin called as chromatin network or fiber then they become short condensed and thick here what happens this condensed chromosomes they are already condensed they become long and thin and now they are called as chromatin fiber like this and hence from a single nucleus two daughter nuclei are formed that is called karyokinesis so in karyokinesis from a single nucleus two daughter nuclei are formed but without changing the chromosome number it is constant so that is all about karyokinesis and second stage is cytokinesis we have seen cyto cytoplasm kinesis means division so division of cytoplasm is called cytokinesis so we shall see how cytokinesis takes place now after end of telophase here in the center of cell a notch is formed like this notch notch means kholgad bhag khadda and this notch is formed on left and right side of the cell and this notch grows towards the center like this and a stage comes where they meet in the center and two daughter cells are separate from each other so totally in my process from a single parent cell two daughter cells are formed by this four stages prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase and then by cytokinesis the cells get separated so that is all about mitosis and hence mitosis takes place in somatic cells we have seen that takes place in stem cells mitosis takes place in both types of reproduction but particularly in asexual reproduction mitosis is the only type of reproduction where chromosome number is maintained but in sexual reproduction both types of reproduction uh, divisions are necessary that is mitosis and meiosis now we shall see the second type of cell division that is called meiosis and this meiosis is a lengthy process so it is divided into two parts meiosis 1 meiosis 2 meiosis 2 and mitosis are both same because after meiosis 1 meiosis 2 takes place this is nothing but mitosis because all the chromosome number is maintained in this phase so how that took place we shall see in the next class and for today there are 
some questions for your homework the first question is what is karyokinesis biosin second question is what is cytokinesis biosin third question in which type of reproduction does mitosis takes place just we have seen and the last question for you where the centriole is located in the cell what is the position of centriole in the cell so these are questions for you so that is all about about mitosis for today so stay at home and stay safe thanks